when we export, one of the choices that we have is the common padding. And by default, it's set to delineation infinite. And you can see that there's some other choices here. I'm going to talk about what that means to um, the two extremes, delineation infinite and no padding. Okay, so on the last lesson, I exported the map. And this is what the result is. I just opened up the color map of the tire and brought it into Photoshop. And maybe at first glance, maybe it looks like there's something wrong with it. And I just overlaid the UVs. And we can see that on all of the areas, um, like here, here's maybe part of the rim, and here's another part. And I can see that this spreads out and it'll spread infinitely until it hits its neighbor. Okay, like this is spreading out, this is spreading out. Uh, and that's where it gets its name is, uh, it's delineating infinitely in all directions. And that's why it looks really bizarre. Now, why would we want that, right? Um, well, let me take a look at this one here. This one has no delineation, okay, no padding. And if I turn this on, uh, what generally happens is that the color is really close to these UV shells, okay? And why is that bad? Well, I feel like to illustrate this really clearly, I put a green background on this, okay, something very, very obvious. And I applied that to my motorcycle in Maya. And you can see that with, the, with this green edge um, it's so close to the UVs that sometimes that green would seep in and you can see it in the model here okay um, so what it's saying or what substance is saying is that why risk it okay now obviously you wouldn't have it light green neon green like this I'm just really trying to draw attention to it a lot of times what people do is have that black Okay, something like this. Oh, and let's do it on this layer. Okay, something like that, and it looks nice and clean, and you're feeling really good about the UVs. However, once again, now when if I apply that to Maya, um, which I didn't, but then instead of that being bright green, that'd be a thin black line. Okay, which would be less noticeable, but still noticeable, I mean, still not correct, right? So that's why I feel like the safest way to do it is if we go to this delineation infinite, now the idea is this, is that whatever color is on the side, it's gonna take that color and then it's going to bring it up. So if here's a great example where you've got kind of more browns here on the edge of the UV, and so it takes those pixels and kind of stretches them. So if um, the scene is visible at all, it would be visible with the closest color. And you can see how it changes color. Like right here is a lighter spot, so it brings up those lighter pixels. So I would recommend always leaving it on delineation infinite, unless maybe you're trying to um, show off a UV map just to be you know, kind of show it off like this, how it's laid out. But really for production, I would recommend doing it like this. And if I'll go back to Substance Painter, when you export, that is what that's set to by default. And you can see that you could do delineation plus transparent. And that would make that background transparent. Or I could have that background a different color. Um, or instead of infinitely spreading out, I could have it spread out only a few pixels. And what that means, I could have it um, determine how many pixels, pixels I wanted to spread. Okay, if I just wanted a few pixels out. But once again, I just leave it to infinite and then export. So hopefully that helped. I hope you enjoyed this Substance Painter tutorial. I look forward to working with you on other lessons.